the Lake of the Woods Water Sustainability Foundation presents The Right Honourable John Turner is the 17th Prime Minister of Canada. And unilateral aggression repulsed before peacekeeping can be effective. And has been a resident of Lake of the Woods for almost 50 years. During his 25-year career in Parliament, Mr. Turner held the posts of Minister of Justice and later Finance. He was also responsible for negotiating boundary water treaties. Water is the most dynamic natural force in the world. We've been fortunate as Canadians to have a great share of that world water. And uh, we've now come to the stage in our history and in our climate and in population growth where we've got to consider the gift we've been given as a trust for future generations. But this Lake of the Woods is, is a majestic piece of that great gift. Lake of the Woods is a massive lake covering 1,500 square miles, 100 miles from north to south and 70 miles wide with over 14,500 islands. It is the sixth largest lake spanning the border between Canada and the United States. Currently, there is a problem with Lake of the Woods. The water quality of the lake is threatened by blooms of blue-green algae, resulting from high phosphorus concentrations introduced on both sides of the border. The levels are such that Minnesota has declared Lake of the Woods an impaired water. Communities on both sides of the border have recognized that we have to act and work together to ensure the future water quality of the lake. It's an international lake. Most of it's in Ontario, a good part of it's in Manitoba, and a good chunk is in the, the great state of Minnesota. Now, being an international lake means that we have to cooperate very closely with our American neighbors. It falls under the jurisdiction of the International Boundary Waters Treaty. The Boundary Waters Treaty is one of the first international environmental agreements in the world. Signed in 1909, it sets out the principles and mechanisms for Canada and the United States to work together as equal partners to protect our shared boundary waters. Canada and the United States celebrated the 100th anniversary of the Boundary Waters Treaty in 2009. Mr. Turner attended the centennial ceremony in Niagara Falls, along with Canadian Foreign Affairs Minister Lawrence Cannon and U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. We spoke of this being one of the most successful cross-border treaties in the history of the world. But we don't take anything for granted. The Boundary Waters Treaty created the International Joint Commission, the IJC, with equal representation from both countries. Independent from governments, the IJC is the working body to fulfill the treaty's purpose of preventing or resolving disputes over our shared waterways, such as water pollution on Lake of the Woods. It has the authority and the responsibility to take instructions from a reference from two federal governments. We've got that uh, reference now, accepted by the Commission, but we've got to continue, new generation, and we've got to continue pressing our democratic representatives in the legislature and the Canadian government. Non-governmental organizations have a role to play in addressing the issues facing the lake, helping to create a climate to ensure its sustainability. Living in a free country doesn't mean we take things for granted and relax and think uh, it all happens automatically and we deserve it. Uh -uh. So voluntary organizations ought to become involved too with, with, with governments. We want to make sure it remains a topic of conversation. The next generation, the inheritors of the lake, will have a responsibility too. They will need to become engaged in the process to ensure the preservation of the lake. If young people start to use the water, enjoy it, swimming, sailing, canoeing, get them to love the lake, then they say, hey, this didn't happen by accident and it won't continue to happen by accident. With the IJC on board to provide institutional stability, with an international watershed, not boundary focus, we can make this happen. We have a success story in the making. Communities and all levels of government have spoken. It's time to work together. So there's still an opportunity for us to preserve and enhance the gift we've been given. Give something back. Get involved.